Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and if you're new here, um, I am trying to lose weight following the cinema plan. Um, but I also do um, shopping hauls and when they're open, charity shop hauls and things like that. So um, welcome. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back and supporting me again. Um, it's much appreciated. Today is a Friday and it is the 4th of December I think and it is a day off for me today. So Ewan's got an inset day so I booked the day off, I've got to go and collect my glasses and then I'm planning on Christmas shopping. So yeah, it's an exciting day and I shall try and take you along with me where I can. Um, other than that it's going to be a what I eat in a day. Um, it's actually my weigh day today and in my previous what I eat in a day I've said that I wasn't going to bother weighing in. And I decided this morning that actually I would because I don't think burying the head in the sand is going to help at this point. I said I think it might affect me mentally, but I decided that I needed the shock to see what the damage was so that it knocks me back on track. And um, so I've weighed this morning. Um, I'm supposed to have Zoom group tonight. I'm not sure what the plan is, whether I'll be back in time. Um, my Zoom group's not till half seven, but I'm planning on three separate sort of shopping expeditions. I'm going out with Ewan, going out with Tom, and I'm going out with Eddie all separately, I think. So, um, it's gonna be a busy day. So um, I'm gonna try and join the Zoom group because I do like it. Um, I do feel like a bit of an outsider, I don't quite know why. Um, I feel like some of them are already friendly or I don't know if they just chat on social media and it's on Facebook and I'm not a huge Facebook user. Um, I'm more Instagram, but I don't I don't know. But um, I'm still gonna try and go along just in case there's any tips I need to know about. I think they're talking about Christmas drinks and stuff, which might be handy. So. Um, so yeah, that's today's plan and um, at the moment it's 8 o'clock so it's dark and miserable and I think the forecast snow in some places today so um, we shall see. But um, I shall show you when I have something to eat. I'm at the opticians at 9 collecting my glasses so I'm not sure whether I'll eat beforehand or after. I want to edit a video before I go if I can. So I'm going to rush and make my cup of coffee and I'll show you when I next eat. <laughs> So here are my new glasses. I do think I've got crooked ears because they don't seem to sit straight, but I think I must have one ear high, eye higher than the other. Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not, because perhaps I should just flip it round rather than using a mirror. But yeah, these are my new glasses. These are very focal, so I've got to try and get used to them. And that was the only difficulty is that he told you to try them on and see if you can see out of them and read, but obviously you've got a face mask on, so they just instantly kept steaming up, so you couldn't really tell, but, but yeah. They're actually like a blue. I'll see if I can show you. So I'm not sure how well it will show, but it's kind of almost like a blue tortoise shell. But yeah. And then this is what I'm wearing today. I've got my Bowden Charity Shop jumper and my Hollister jeans that are too big. You can't actually see that it's snowy. See if I had them. Definitely snow. So lunch is off plan. I've gone for KFC. I didn't have any breakfast. Um, and nothing while we were out because obviously you can't eat in anywhere because we're all tier three down here. So I've just got a KFC and I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not going to open it and show you what I've got because um, I don't want to trigger anyone but it is off plan for my lunch and I shall see you later for my evening meal we can hear heavy breathing <laughs> no? hello <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just trying out my glasses. They still look a bit wonky. It must be, I don't know if it's my ears or my nose or what, but they still look wonky. But um, I'm trying to use the computer and it's all right when I sit at my desk and I'm looking at my screens, but when my laptop's on my knee, I don't know if it's because it's at the wrong height and obviously these very focus, I've got to get used to whereabouts my eyes need to be. But anyway, that's not what I came over to tell you. Um, I did my Zoom group tonight. I wasn't going to do it. And actually, um, I ordered a Chinese for an evening treat because um, 
Eddie had sort of said he fancied a Chinese and I sort of went, oh, you know, we've had KFC for lunch. And he said, oh, don't worry, we'll have it tomorrow. And I was like, no, tomorrow I am being totally on plan. Today's my kind of day off because it's way day and I've had the day off work. So I don't mind having it today, but I'm not having it tomorrow. So I'm going to buy my Chinese tonight, which I did take a photo of and I will have inserted it either before or after this clip. Um, but whilst it was delivered, I actually went on my Zoom group, which is a bit naughty, isn't it? So I didn't tell them that I was having Chinese. Um, and actually, it was really good tonight. I really did enjoy it. Um, there's a few people on there that have been struggling like I'm struggling, and it's motivated me for this week. Um, I've had lots of lovely comments on my What I Eat in a Day, um, telling me to sort of like, you know, that people want to see the, the good days and the bad days. So from tomorrow, no matter what happens, I'm going to vlog because I think it's important. I'm always worried that I'm going to set someone off and you know make them struggle but i think it's also good for everyone to see that we're all the same and we all have these weeks days months whatever where we start to struggle so from tomorrow i'm going to start doing it um what else have i got to tell you something else came on to tell you and i can't believe it is now i need to think i thought oh i must pick up my camera and just say blah 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 blah, blah. and i can't what <laughs> No, it's totally gone. Oh, I know what it is. Um, someone, um, I've had a few comments about my stomach issue and someone messaged me directly on Instagram and told me a remedy about trying um, rubbing castor oil into my stomach after I've had a shower or a bath and then putting a hot towel over and that apparently will help me go the following day. So I'm going to have a go at that. And um, Emma SW at home has also commented to say there's some tea you can get from Holland and Barrett. So I just need to find out what the tea is. Um, and I'm going to give both of those a go because I'd much rather try a natural remedy rather than taking anything. So I'm going to try that and see if that helps. I'm actually ho ho hoping that the Chinese may help things move along because it's obviously a little bit greasy than what I'm used to. But yeah, so thank you for all the advice and all the comments. Um, so yeah, from tomorrow, I'm going to keep going and keep chipping away at it. And if between now and Christmas I don't lose drastic amounts of weight as long as I'm keeping an eye on it and keeping on track and then in the new year we can smash it so we can totally do this anyway um that's me done for the day I've had no snacks because obviously I've had my Chinese and I'm not hungry at all if anything it's made me really thirsty so I just need to get something to drink um but yeah I'm gonna be up early in the morning Tom's up for work early so I'm gonna get up early and start my day I'm going for a run tomorrow lunchtime because I finally feel a little bit better like I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to go for a run around lunchtime-ish. I'm not sure of the distance. I'm, I was thinking maybe about four miles, which um, is probably the same as what I did last weekend, four or five miles. Um, but I'm going to see how I feel because obviously because I'm not being very well this week, I don't want to go straight in and then wipe myself out. So we'll see. But yeah, apart from that, it's decorations this weekend and not a great deal else planned. So I'm going to try and do some meal planning and meal prep so it makes this next week easier. And I shall see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye! Good morning, it's Saturday and it is the 5th of December today. Um, you're back to your usual rough as hell looking Saturday morning post, you'd be pleased to know. Or not pleased to know. Um, I got up about half five with Tom and stayed up and had a cup of tea with him. I went back to bed probably about seven o'clock. Decided I was going to have an extra hour. I was just watching some YouTube. I watched some really like uh, such a wide range of people on YouTube. So this morning I was watching someone called Joe Robinette who does wild camping in Canada. And I really like it when he does his winter ones when it's all snowy. So there was a snowy one from about a month ago. So I sat and watched that. Um, and then thought, actually, I could probably go back to sleep. So I decided to go back to bed. Got into bed and managed an hour before Eddie woke me up. All of a sudden, really startled, asking whether Tom had gone to work. So then I couldn't go back to sleep, so I got up. So I did manage an extra hour, which was good. But I wanted to tell a big, long lie in today. Because um, I haven't got anything planned until I go for my run at half twelve. And I thought I can have a nice long lie in, get up, have a mooch about, have something to eat. Um... Not sure when Eddie's getting up and when we're doing the Christmas decorations, whether it's today or tomorrow. Um, but I do definitely want to do some meal prep tomorrow. So we shall see. But anyway, I've got up now. I made myself a cup of coffee. Not even in my Christmas cup today. I've just got my normal espresso mug. I'm just going to sit and watch a bit of telly. Catch up on a few Slimming World vlogs. Oh, I can hear Luna coming downstairs. Morning, Luna. Come on then. Excuse my mess on the stairs. <laughs> I have a habit of pies to put. So I don't have to make multiple journeys and then I forget. There you go. Morning. 
So is anybody else who watches me that are in the UK and in tier 3 finding it really strange watching people that are not in tier 3 going out eating and drinking? <laughs> I've got loads of people that I watch on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff and when I find them going out for meals and eating and stuff I'm finding it really strange because we still can't do it um, <clears throat> and also I find it a little bit unfair so, um, so yeah I'm a little bit jealous but obviously when we went out Christmas shopping yesterday it ruined the experience because it's really nice to sit down and have a nice hot chocolate and sit down and have something to eat to break up your day shopping and um, to see people sort of gathered outside trying to scoff a burger because they can't sit inside the food court just I don't understand it I don't understand how having socially distanced tables that were perfectly acceptable last time the lockdown ended because they were, as long as they were socially distanced and Covid safe it didn't matter apparently so I don't understand the difference between that if it's cleaned and everything than having people all huddled up together really close who then remove the face mask because they're outside and because they want to eat all huddled together under a little thing outside trying to eat i don't understand how that's better but what do i know i'm not employed by the government as a scientist but um even outside the coffee shop we went to 200 degrees they've got like a canopy area and they actually moved people from under there and said you can't stay here to drink i think mainly because when you got served if you're in twos, they let one person wait inside and one wait outside. So they'll think that because it was their waiting area, they move people on from, from drinking. Which obviously then, if you've got a drink and you just want to stop and have a quick drink, take your face mask off, you can't do it. So it did kind of ruin the experience. And like I said, I've got, I've got real envy of seeing people out on dates and eating and stuff. So let's hope we change tears soon. Let's hope everyone's sensible. The one thing I will say is that both Ilkeston when I went to Specsavers yesterday and um, Junction 28 when I went there for Christmas shopping and into Nottingham, um, particularly the first two, a lot of people were in face masks outside all the time, which is such a contrast than how it used to be. Um, whether it's the cold weather, because actually it keeps your nose and mouth warm, I don't know, but um, Nottingham not so much. Nottingham people didn't really care and actually even inside the shopping centre where you're supposed to wear the face mask, people were taking them off. I'm getting such a reflection off these glasses, I don't know if it's because they're so clean. Um, I'm really trying to get used to them. Yesterday, by the end of the day, my eyes were so tired. I think it's battling with learning to, to like these new lenses. But anyway, I'm rambling as usual. Um, I've not got any plans to have breakfast just yet. It's a bit early for me at the moment. Um, actually, I didn't show you what I bought yesterday at Wilco's. Let me just quickly show you that. Excuse the state of my table. It is in a real mess. But I picked up um, some serviettes, which are just disposable ones, because... I can't be bothered with washing and drying and stuff like real ones over Christmas. <laughs> I bought, I'm not sure how big these are, but I bought two packs of the gold table covers and two packs of red. I quite like putting the table covers on quite early, not to for Christmas Day. So I might put one of those on once I've cleaned my table and got it sorted today. And then I bought six of these charge plates. Now they're really plastic, but I've never had them before. And I've always seen other people dress their tables and they always look lovely. And these were a pound each, so I bought six of those. I mean, it's only five of us, but you can't buy these things in odd numbers, can you? So I don't imagine they'll last very long. I should imagine they'll get chipped and scratched really easily, but for a pound each, I thought they were worth it. So yeah, I've got to make a few purchases. It's a little bit annoying, actually, because I went down to Specsavers, and because I was down there for nine o'clock, I just shouted up to Eddie because he was still in bed to say, I'm going to go get my gases now about half eight. And he goes, oh, I'll come with you. And I was like, no, it's fine. I'm going to walk down. I'll be absolutely fine on my own. So I went and walked down and then I thought, oh, I can have a mooch around the shops on my way back. So I started walking up the hill and I thought, oh, well, because I'll go and have a look and see if they've got any Christmas lights for outside my house because my Christmas lights weren't all working last year. So I thought I might treat myself to some new ones. I literally got into Wilco's and was messaging Tom because I'd, I'd seen an advent calendar that he was thinking of getting that was reduced. Um, and then um, I walked around and picked up those bits. And then I've just got to the, the lights aisle to have a look. And Eddie messaged. Well, he messaged originally when I was at the front of the store to say, we were walking up through the marketplace. So I said, yes, but I'm in Wilco's at the moment. Next thing he messaged me to say, hurry up, it's cold, I'm outside. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so rather than being grateful that he came out to meet me with Luna, 
I just thought, oh, that's my little shopping expedition on my own scuppered. I'd got plans with everybody all day and I just fancied having a little mooch around on my own just to see what was there because the shops have reopened and I was like, denied. So I had to rush through, buy my purchases and then we just walked straight home. So I was like, great. <laughs> um, I haven't showed you everything I bought at the Cadbury shop yesterday and what I bought at Junction 28 because they're for Christmas presents. So I bought something for someone at the body shop, which was a really nice gift set. I bought myself some more of my foundation that I wear because I'm almost out. So it's just, I don't know if I've showed you before, it's just a moisturising, I think it's a BB cream. So it's just like a tinted moisturiser. I don't wear proper foundation. But I found that it kept my skin really nicely moisturised all through the summer and winter. And I'm prone to getting dry skin, particularly when the central heating goes on. So I bought some more of that. And then at the cabinet shop yesterday, the only thing I will show you is this. So I picked up two packs of these here. I don't know how many you get in a pack, but... Um, these are for the advent calendars because we still haven't got out but they will be out today or tomorrow and obviously we will backfill them so these were I think they were £2.99 so it means that it was £6 for two and I'd seen them in Walkers earlier on two for £7 so I thought well, that's not too bad that is actually cheaper so I'll pick those up I did pick up some um, I picked up some deep filled cookies to go in their stocking or in their Christmas Eve box and I picked up some of those little chocolate snowballs because they were on offer as well I think the cookies were 60p for a pack and I think the snowballs were on three for two pound or something, or three for a pound, I don't know, something like that. They were quite cheap, so I picked those up. I didn't spend a huge amount in there. I did buy some misshapes and stuff for now and chocolates, which I did have some yesterday, because obviously yesterday I was treating as some sort of treat day. Um, back on plan today fully. I've said to Eddie that was it, drawing a line under it. That's why we had the Chinese last night. So I'm feeling quite motivated today and hoping it continues all day and into tonight. I'm hoping the fact that I go for a run whilst it will make me hungry, will make me feel motivated to try and, and be good and shift some of these excess pounds I've put on before Christmas. Anyway, um, I've rambled on for ages. I shall catch you when I do my breakfast. So I'm making myself a bacon roll for breakfast and this wholemeal roll from our local butchers um, is 30 grams in weight so I'm counting it as half a healthy extra beef. So I've not done a huge amount since I last saw you. Um, I've been out to the butchers and I've ordered all of my meat hamper for Christmas. Uh, I also bought some Slimmer sausage in there. Now when I did Slimmer World many years, years ago they were one of the only butchers that were nearby that had actually been verified to sell Slim World sausages, so they were classed as being low enough in sins to be considered to be Slim World friendly. And I can't remember, but I've got a feeling they're only half a sin each, like the Aldi ones, but I need to just double check and see if I can find on either their Facebook page or Instagram or the app or something. It's not, I don't think they're in the app, but I know they did um, Slim World friendly scotch eggs and, and, and all sorts, so I also managed to pick up two packs of JD seasonings in there, which I haven't st have still haven't tried. I keep meaning to order some, but I haven't. I just got the jambalaya one, and I got the which one did I get? Shepherd's pie. So I'm looking forward to trying those at some point. Just to order my Christmas hamper, I got Eddie and you and a sausage roll each. <coughs> I bought three packs of the slimmer sausage because it was three for ten pounds, and I bought some ham because it looked nice. It was like proper butcher's ham. Um, what else? What's that on there? Is that? I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, I've made my breakfast. I bought some wholemeal rolls in there. I've weighed it out and um, I've just filmed a little bit to show you, but it was 30 grams in weight. So I'm going to consider it to be half healthy extra beer. Then I might use the other half to make myself something with oats later on. Or I might even have another roll, but I'll show you what I've got. So I've just got a bacon roll. This is two slices of bacon with a fat mood. And I've just got some tomatoes that I just pan fried with it. There's no butter on this bun or anything like that. So this is sin free with some speed on there and I shall catch you later for my, well actually this is probably, it's quarter past 11 now. So it's kind of a brunch really and I'm running in about an hour or so. So I'm just hoping it settles in time. Um, so yeah, the next thing will probably be my evening meal and I shall catch you later. Just got back from a run and I ended up running 11 kilometers, which is the furthest I've run for about three or four years something like that I don't know quite a long time anyway um so I've come back and I'm absolutely starving so I've decided to have my other bread roll 
and there's some ham on it and there's a bit of clover light. There isn't even a, there's a scraping of clover light, so it's not even a teaspoon. So I'm only going to count half a cent. There's none left in the tub, so it's just been left in the fridge empty. So I'm just going to have that. The ham is sin free. If there's any fat on there, I'm just going to take it off and give it to Luna. So I'm going to quickly scoff this now and then I'm going to go and have a soak in the bath because my legs are killing me and I shall catch you later. So I've got back from my... I can't remember where I got to. I've gone back from my run, had a bath, and um, I took Luna out for a walk, and I've been over to um, Giltbrook with my sister just for a social distance walk. We went around TK Maxx and M&S. Did we go anywhere else? I think that was it. And I'll show you what I bought. So I picked up four of these little Christmas decorations that are really cute. They light up. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. They were two ninety nine each, so I've got four of those. So I've got two for each windowsill. Thought they were really cute. And then I bought. I've seen this on Zoe Suggs channel. One of these candles from M S. So you light the wick, and it lights all the candle up. So the candle all comes up. So um, and that was eight pound. I can't really smell it very strong. I think it says it's lime, basil, and something else. So I hope it'll be quite nice, but I'm hoping that might be able to go on my table at Christmas. I probably will light it before that though, in fairness. And then I bought some reduced meals that are the count on us from M&S. They're the 320 calorie ones, so I'm assuming they're quite good from a sim point of view. Um, I think last time I checked they were. So I've got port loin dinners and I think there's a risotto. So I'm thinking we're going to have those for dinner. So I'll show you when I have something to eat. This is my evening meal. This is the Marks and Spencer's Count on Us pork loin dinner. Um, this works out according to the app at five sins, which I think is fine for dinner. I think it's like 320 calories or something stupid, but um, it smells delicious. I'm really looking forward to it. And the best thing was it was like 52p or something because <laughs> they were all reduced. I bought, I think it was four of these and then one of the risottos, not like 50 p as well. So bargain. I'm going to tuck in and enjoy this now because I'm absolutely starving. And I'll catch you later for any snacks. Just thought I'd jump on to say that I really, really enjoyed that dinner. It was really nice. It's like proper home-cooked dinner rather than it being a frozen meal. So the carrots were like proper carrots you do at home and stuff. Really tasty. I don't know what the gravy was, but it was very nice. So, um, yeah, for a good, quick, cheap dinner, it was well worth it. It was quite good in calories too, if you calorie counting. Um, I said I'd show you if I have any snacks, but to be honest, I'm really tired. I've been playing on my game on Assassin's Creed. And it's now, it's only 20 to 9. I thought it was about 10 o'clock. Um, I don't think I'm going to be a huge amount of time out of bed. I think I'll probably be going to bed about half nine. So I'm not sure I'll be having any snacks. I might have another drink because I'm quite thirsty. But um, but yeah, that's me done for today. I'm really happy. I think I've had another good day on plan. I certainly got my activity in according to my watch. Um, I think I'm supposed to, I've got a target of 450 calorie burn. And I've done 1,387. So I think I've like tripled my move goal or whatever. So really happy with that. Um, I've tripled my other goal as well, my exercise goal, because I think I've got 30 minutes for that and I'm on 95. So there's only my stand goal that's on 10. I'd be really mind if I don't close all three rings today, but it's one of those things, isn't it? But, um, but yeah, really happy with that. But I am shattered. I've got Luna fast asleep, I'll show you. So she's lying on me at the moment and she's actually snoring. So she's tired too, bless her. I think she must be aware that I'm filming her because she suddenly stopped snoring. But she has been snoring all evening, so. Bless her. Anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow for the next one. Bye, thanks for watching.